right, hi guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about photography. Um, so I have here a few tips and trips, tricks for taking great photos. So number one, first and foremost, clean your lens. This ensures that you have a clear view of your subjects and minimizes the risks of smudges or blurs interfering with your photo quality. After that, make sure your camera or phone or is in focus. On phones, this can be done by tapping your phone screen, and you can also adjust the exposure to make sure you have the best lighting for your photo. Candids. Um, so candids are a super cool way to spice up your photos. You can utilize the burst feature on your camera or phone by holding down on the um, camera button on your phone or the button on your camera and so that's going to create a burst and then looking through those you can find the best picture of um, whatever you're taking a picture of also you should consider a different perspective um, for different pictures different angles and views can create a better looking image some examples of this are bird's eye view or worm's eye view so um, when your subject is far away, it can be your first instinct to zoom in to see them better, but that can decrease the quality of your photo. Sometimes it's a better idea to take a photo from far away and then crop it later on to assure, ensure picture perfection. Also, if you're taking a video, try to avoid zooming in while you're taking it, and also consider using a tripod to ensure a steady view. Make sure you use your grid lines. Um, the rule of thirds states that the most important elements in the scene should be placed along the grid lines or at the intersection where the lines meet. That's all the camera tips that I have for you today, and we would like to see the photos that you guys take. So share them with us on Smug Mug, um, and Cameron's now going to show us how you do that. Hi everybody, so the PR team this year has decided that Using Smug Mug is one of the best ways to collect all, all the photos throughout the state. So some of the main reasons that the PR team uses Smug Mug as our one area is because it's easier to connect photos from throughout the state. So every assembly would be able to upload photos of OVs or receptions to our Smug Mug link. And then if someone's looking for a specific photo from a specific event, you are able to look through that Smug Mug folder to be able to find it. So some of the reasons that assemblies might find it as a useful tool to use is that they can keep all their photos together. And if you have your personal account, which an assembly can create, they can find everything from like different folders that they make. So if they make one for servings or one for fun events or one for service events, they're able to find it. So that's from for assemblies and then ways to actually utilize smug mug is you can either download the app or just look it up online to be able to find like your account or like if you want to use california rainbows you can submit the pictures or videos through our smug mug link this is the personal pr team smug mug link which we use to disperse photos throughout the state on our social media so all you have to do to be able to do that is you pick a folder to for whatever you'd like to upload, whether it's receptions or other things, you select all the pictures and videos, any amount that you would like, and then you upload them to that selected folder. And then that's pretty much it. That's It's really easy to use Smug Mug. It's really easy to get the hang of. So it's a great tool to be able for everyone to utilize it. And that's all for Smug Mug. <laughs> 